there are no Canaries on the Canary Islands. And the same thing applies to the Virgin Islands. There are no Canaries there either. Welcome to Shave and Butcher, the shaving YouTube channel. Today we're shaving with Gold Monkey, number 666, number of the monkey. This is, this was sent to me by Marian the Barbarian, but it was gifted to me and owned by none other than <clears throat> the stallion. Can you see the amount of work he's put in on, on the on the spine? The blade um, spine wear is very uneven. <clears throat> so <laughs> this must have been shit geometry to start with. And that's what you hear. So this is Chinese racer. So we'll see about that. Uh, the brush is going to be this awesome little thing again, the vintage, uh, I call it, you know, barber, Italian barber's type handle with a synthetic omega nut. Nut, not, not. So when I used this on video last, I just painted stuff on and painted the moisture in. I did splay it and worked out a, a big, a big Santa Claus lather the last time off camera. I haven't decided what to do today. The soap is in this little thing, which is quite pretty, I think. It has a lid. Oh, even prettier. And it is a mix of the two soaps I like the least in the world of the ones I've tried. I bloomed it. This is approximately 50 50 williams mug soap which is which is objectively the worst soap shaving soap in the world so that was 150 the other 50 was or is rather arco shave stick which oh, i don't wanna it's a stupid bowl it's pretty but it's stupid um, Orco is not a bad soap, it's just boring, dries out the skin, which you can help, you can sort out with the moisturizer afterwards. Uh, but I added it just to, as a last resort, to be able to, to lather William's mug soap. And that worked. I've just used this soap once. I think it was on camera. Yeah, I was on camera where I said, yeah, I've mastered the Williams mug soap, thanks to the cool advice. And this was advice from Flash, I think, I can't remember. Uh, the most sensible advice when I was trying out Williams mug soap was throw it away and buy a proper soap. So I ended up declaring victory on this one. And most people said I cheated. And then Christopher... Uh, David Bradley dared me to do a, a shave with Millie Williams mug soap, which was horrible because it's a shit soap. It really is. Jeffrey Smith used it today. It's just annoying. I just get provoked by it. But I, I thought, okay, I'll, I'll use this because although I've barely spent anything, because those are two cheap soap soaps. I have spent a bit on the pole, which was uh, vintage from a flea market. So be nice to use it, and we'll see. We'll see if this brush works magic, even on the two worst soaps, in my opinion, in the world. The best car in the world. I miss Clarkson. Do you miss Clarkson? Jeremy Clarkson. Bit of a twat, but he did make good television. I don't know, what does he do today? This was the legendary host of Top Gear, British Top Gear. Uh, what does he do now? I don't know. He's rich as a troll, so. Okay, 
there's a bit of soap. So he might be enjoying his millions. You know, he's a, he's a racist, bigot, arrogant, twat, really. But one of, one of the greatest people to watch on television. He really is phenomenal. I mean, they 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 did do a, a, another Top Gear with um, Matt LeBlanc and is it Chris Evans and maybe someone else. Chris Evans is a is an iconic radio DJ, radio host from Britain. He's ginger, so he has no soul, but he's pretty good on radio and he's a petrol petrol head he's a car fanatic so you can see this dissipating already that's a Williams contribution I'm splaying this now and you know as I as I splayed it a lot and fiercely the, the last time I had to comb the brush to get the um, the whiskers to uh, straighten out now the brush did a good job but it, I treated it pretty badly sorry sorry Brad but let's see if we can make this work so we can shave or is it going to it's going to dissipate on me I don't know is this moisturized properly I have no clue I really don't know it is dissipating so probably is too much water I don't know as long as it's slippery so uh, Rafael Pap from Brazil asked me to talk about my grip and my lather and my lather Rafael to be honest it's nothing particular and I do vary the lather that I made make this uh, this is this is a bad time we can talk about the leather some other time, but let's talk about the the grip. The grip is a bit unique. You're supposed to hold a straight razor like this, like two fingers on here and one on the tang and the thumb underneath as protection and the thing, you know, like, uh, like women and um, so forth drinking tea. But I hold it like this. And the reason why I do that is that my dexterity in my right hand is pretty poor so this is the fastest i can move my hand so doing this is possible but it's it's awkward so it feels more comfortable just to hold it uh, as if i was holding a bread knife and as a consequence i do the same thing with the left hand my left hand is nimble I can do it very quickly um it just feels more natural to do it both ways and you know I, I guess there's a point of doing this in terms of reach, but I don't know what it is because you, you really don't have to angle the racer very much. So you can angle more when you do this, of course, than this, but I don't find that matters, is it? And, and it's definitely not more, um, not less secure to hold it like this. You know, there's no way you, you drop this. This is, I don't know, this is just more, if you're, if you're more uh, effeminate, is that a word? It's dissipating, so I'm putting this on. It's a bad cho choice of soap. I remember it was shit the last time as well. <laughs> we have to shave quickly. Nah, screw it. I'm, I'm not going to shave with this. I'm going to fetch another soap. And uh, I'm going to pause, I'm going to fetch another soap. I'll talk more about the grip, but I'll be back when, when I have the soap that's worthy of, of this channel. Huh? Okay, we're back. So it, it lathers like shit, but it is very slick. I can barely get it off. A bit is left. Let's call that a pre-shave. So we're doing Mitchell's Wolf Pat instead, which is a good soap. Not very easy to lather either, but it's it's good. Same brush, 
little bit of moisture in it and uh, there we go. So you get the same frothy, too much water, the same frothiness as with Williams. Frothiness in Australia is acts of beer drinking. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know any Australians in work. I want to use that as, yeah, let's go to Perth, mate. I can't speak. I can't speak Australian language. Let's go to Perth and knock the top off some frothies. Ah, oh, it's Scotland, Scottish, <laughs> shit. You know why? Because the only Australian I need is Scottish. Chris Maiden. So you get a lot of uh, volume in Mitchell's full fat, but you don't get a lot of substance. But it's it, this this brush is so much much fun. You know this looks Italian barbershop style. They have super. I heard. I've heard super wet lather and super. They have lathering machines as well. You know, the foam comes out of, of a machine. How cool is that? Okay, basta. We're going to apply the, the frothy froth to the visage. And we're going to see if we can build the lather. So, my son is waiting for me. watch Billions. Did I talk about Billions? TV series on HBO, at least in this part of the world. Billions. It's really good. We're on season three. We're watching one or two episodes every evening. It's a really good stuff. Billions. If you like money and power and intrigues, that's what you need to watch well like money who doesn't like money but if you if you you know it's trading which I always find interesting like the big short the movie is a huge favorite so that's good and what are the actors Paul Diomati and Daniel should check Lewis. Okay. Well, the guy from the first seasons of Homeland. Daniel Lewis? No. De De Damien Lewis. I can't remember. That guy. He doesn't have a soul either. And Paul Giorgio Matti. He was uh, miserable going drinking wine with his buddy in California. Amongst other things. So. So those two, they're fighting and they're very much alike, but they hate each other. Maybe that, maybe why, or maybe one is a crooked, well, who isn't, stock trader. And one is the United States attorney for Southern Manhattan. So they argue because, you know, and yeah, one of the coolest things, which actually works, it's strange, but it works. The wife of, of the prosecutor, the attorney, is the soul, you know, psychologist and soul culture keeper creator in the trader's company. Crazy. So she belongs to both of them and none. And anyway, it's, it's just brilliant TV. Started off in 2015, I think. So it's been around for a while. I just literally discovered it. Guy likes political TV series like The West Wing and stuff like that. Recommended it and it's just freaking good. 
Okay, we've wasted shitloads of time. But it isn't a waste because we're enjoying each other's company. We're creating lather poetry. Now, I can shave with that or I'll put in a bit of additional water or I can splay and try and make it bigger. But then it's gonna to be too dry and I keep adding water and it, I ruin it so I get annoyed. Let's do a bit of splay. So this Mitchell's comes off as very frothy. Isn't that Australian for beer? Yeah. In the beginning, and then you work it and you beat it to submission. And it becomes very nice and pretty dense and pretty vol 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 volume, vol voluminous. What the hell is it called? I can't speak English anymore. Corner of the mouth, flick of the ladder. Thank you for teaching me. Okay, let's go with that. We can we can bore ourselves quite a bit too. Gonna add somewhat more agua. Most people have tuned out. Can you see the sheen and shine on that? Let's do the um, boom, boom shakalaka, the locky locky. Yeah, this is looking good. Hmm, going on my first business trip since the Rona started. Traveling by car on my own to a small town on the other side of the country, which is Sweden, and meeting one guy and not staying two meters away and everything, but I'm pretty excited. I travel a lot and I haven't traveled since February. Gold Monkey 666, honed by Anthony Esposito, also known as The Stallion. Cool. Looks to work just fine, but the real test is on the pass against the green. La passe, le passe, d'argent. So, so this is uh, an inexpensive racer, which if you know how to hone, you can hone to submission. Again, look at that uneven hone wear. It takes a lot of honing. It's a lot of steel gone away because the geometry is poor because it's cheap, but it is carbon steel. I thought it was stainless steel, but I asked Anthony, what it was because I, I wanted to know if I could you know because if you have a stainless steel you, you don't have to keep it in vacuum to avoid corrosion which you do with a, a carbon steel racer and if it is carbon steel which is typically viewed as, as better. Yeah. Or Ara, better, more sophisticated. My maybe favorite razor is the standard stainless steel of my Villa Monica. It's fantastic. Dreaming a little bit of a Philharmonica in in um, carbon steel with uh, yeah, Philharmonica 13. 
over 14. But 13 is, is plenty. 14 is a bit bigger, more expensive. But they are such good racers and such pretty works of art. I'm slow today. Good, eh? You get more of me. I say to the four people who stay after the bad joke in the beginning. No Mio did a joke today. And you know, he gave me credit and everything, but I, I commented asking him who the heck gave him permission to permission to tell jokes in the beginning of shaving videos. Because we do that here. But that doesn't mean any Tom, every Tom, Dick and Harry is allowed to. Fortunately, no muse, no no Dick Harry, so he's allowed. Good for him. Okay, we're painting a bit of good old Mitchell's on. I'm throwing away the mixed Williams and Arco. Not worth it. I spent no money on it. I'm putting something good in that in that jar because the jar is nice. I think I paid two Canadian dollars for uh, for the Williams, which is about one US or something. And I paid, I think I paid two euros for the Orco in bordered in Turkey, Istanbul. No, Canakale, uh, Turkey. So I spent a total of four, let's say four dollars, three four dollars on the soaps. And there's loads of it. I spent, I spent seven dollars on the jar. So, who wins? Well, the jar wins. This is working against the grain. It's not a Philharmonica. But it's sharp. Ah, shit. It is sharp. How does how much does a gold dollar cost? I don't know. As I said, I was fuck it slippery. It is. I was spoiled enough to receive it as a present. See how rich I am. It's Corona time, and I have toilet paper. As that's my doctor Matt. Thing. Little weeper there. I think I had a bit of a little spot there, so that's why. Shaving is perfect. Yeah, that will do. That will do. We're going to need some touch up. We're going for a long video. Long video. So yeah, so um, tomorrow's about eight hours in the in the car driving. It's a long drive. But I like driving. My back hurts though before I get going, so that's gonna be painful. But it'll be okay. And then get up, have dinner with the, the guy, and then we're off to see his plant on Wednesday morning. So I'm really excited. So I was telling my wife, wife, maybe I have to spend one night, maybe I have to spend two. And she said, I know you're <laughs> dying to go, go on the road. You stay two nights. I said, oh, okay, well, only if I have to.
This is seriously sleek stuff. And there probably is a bit of Williams and Orco remaining because I didn't wash everything out, as I said, so. This is as slick as it gets. And people say that Mitchell's wool fat has uh, a good post shave performance. I don't know. I put balm on pretty quickly after every soap, so I, I don't know. I mean, some soaps, of course, feel nice, but I notice and prefer when they feel nice when you put put when you put the lather on the face you know if it feels creamy and i notice that post shave not so much and again it doesn't matter because i put balm on every time but yeah the grip so i don't do any fancy strokes right so i don't have to be more agile with, the, with my hands and with the grip than, than this. Some people may do that. And if you do J-hooks and swirly swirls, perhaps the bread knife grip isn't, isn't for you. But if you go up and down like I do, it works really well. I did the fancy grip at the beginning. You know, the old lady drinking tea thing. But as a, you know, I can do it. I have, I, well, I could do it. It just didn't bring anything extra. It just felt a bit silly. But I, very few people do have this grip the whole shape some do for certain parts of the shape like i think frank does wet shaving and stuff or someone but you know it works just fine basically i'm not saying it's better than any other grip and it probably isn't because no one uses it but it can be used and you can it just prove i shave slowly but well so it proves It proves maybe not that every grip works, but it proves that different grips work. Shit, it's so slippery. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it really is. Mitchell's wool fat. The slippery soap. Okay, pick up. slow motion today. <clears throat> but I'd be interested, I know a lot of people who watch this will be straight racer shavers and you will have the old lady drinking tea grip. Um, no, I shouldn't joke about it. It's it's th this kind of grip and i realize by pure numbers that it's it's a superior grip but would you mind telling me and raffaello and others why why that is god it's slow why that is a better grip than the bread knife Let's educate each other because really I'm not saying this is better. I'm saying it probably is not because no one else uses it But why what is good with the other normal grip? Who 
wants to be normal, hey? Well, really weird people maybe would prefer to be normal just for, if just for one day. But I'm pretty normal and that's, that's no fun. Not joking, that was the slickest soap I've had on for a very long time. Maybe it was the combo of Mitchell, uh, Williams and, uh, and Arco being, still being there. And we mix, mix it in with uh, Mitchell's wool fat. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. This is gonna take a while to get off, so I'm gonna pause and be back after the rinse. Okay, we're back. We've rinsed. It did take a while. Oh, it feels so good to put cold water on your face after you shaved. It really does feel good. Okay, post shave today is Clubman Pinot. smell on that thing. I don't use it all the time. I don't like it all the time. Sometimes it is nice. This is the original. The originale. Okay, so the racer today was was the interesting bit. It was the the, the, the gold dollar. Golden monkey. Is gold monkey and gold dollar sort of same thing? I don't know. But this is the golden monkey with a stallion edge and it shaved real good. Thanks for watching, guys and girls. See you soon. I've been tagged to do a candlelight shave, so that's coming up, but it will be a few days. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Stay sharp.